Hi guys, um, this is the first of three videos that I'll show you how I install my solar equipment. Um, today I'll show you how I fasten the solar panels to the roof of my Ford Transit. Um, I mainly use uh, 3M VHB tape for it, so there's no uh, holes to worry about. Let's uh, have a look at the video. And I'll use some blue masking tape to where I have to place the VHB tape. So I know that the first piece of tape has to go between these two points. There's halfway in between, there's a lower area which I have to tape around. So I'll measure that first. This solar panel will cover this lower area, so I have to tape around it and measure how that works. I'll leave about a quarter inch space between the two panels. Now I have to be careful again because the panel is the other way around it. So instead of measuring from this side, I have to measure from that side. What I'll use is an, uh, an old rag and a solution of uh, isopropylene alcohol, whatever you call it. So I clean the area where the tape is going to be attached. Then I have to start applying the tape. And you have to apply it without much stretching. I'm having it laying down on some cardboard. I'll be able to put a little bit pressure on it. Because there are corrugations in the roof, there is a little bit higher and a little bit lower. Um, I only put tape on the highest parts uh, and over here as well. You can see from the first panel uh, even though this is not attached it is extremely secure and it allows for water and air to flow underneath the panels uh, that may help a little bit with regard to the heat dissipation. I chose to start the panel parallel to the rain gutter. Back at the panel, I'm using a few pieces of painter's tape to set out the measurements that I made.
to add some additional uh, VHB. I'll add three strips divided equally, more or less equally, over the panel. Just have to be a little bit careful because now I'm pressing on the solar cells. Now the panel is uh, done and now we have to move over to the roof. There's several issues you have to think about when you're putting solar panels on the roof. And I put one here as an example. Uh, in my case, with the vent, uh, I chose the vent to be in a rear position and the solar panels in front of it. Um, I can, even in this situation, with a uh, long wheelbase uh, for transit, I would be able to put four panels here in front of it. And these are 22 inch wide panels. Uh, I'm only putting three of them in because the fourth one will be visible from the street. And uh, even though these are visible slightly as well, um, it's, it's highly noticeable. But if you put one extra, the fourth one in front, that's very visible. So I chose not to do that and would work with an expansion of power in another way. The second thing is that, and that changes by model or brand uh, of your car or van as well, is these corrugations in the roof. These function as to stiffen the roof line, of course, and that's fine. And this part is a, is a rain gutter. Um, but sticking that onto the roof is a little bit of a compromise. Uh, there are areas over here that are deeper, which I chose not to fill up and only use the tape on those parts that are sticking out. Second, which, is, which was crucial for me in my decision for these panels, is the total length of the panel. What I did is I put the far edge really parallel with the inside of the rain gutter, leaving the gutter open. Um, uh, so I gained a little bit more space here, about three quarters of an inch on this side. Uh, and that allows me to manipulate these wires so they don't have to go into the gutter. Another issue are these dimples, these lower areas, like the corrugation here on the side and over here. Uh, I tape around them and leave the area above uh, untaped. Now I'll be installing the second panel and the first thing what I'll do is put it on and check whether everything is in line and put it down on one side. Final consideration about putting solar panels on your roof is to decide on what side of your van or even in the middle, dependent on how the layout is uh, done, uh, on, in my case on which side to put the cable connections. Um, I would have preferred to do that on the driver's side because I feel personally that it's a little bit less visible, uh, but I had to go uh, to the passenger side because I decided to put my batteries and my controllers uh, and, and all the solar equipment uh, on the passenger side of the van. Uh, what that means is you always have to be careful with solar uh, about the length of the cables because uh, you're working with 12 volt uh, and you always have to consider the voltage drop in, inside the lines. So it's always necessary to keep the lines as short as possible. So instead of putting the batteries, uh, the, so instead of putting the wiring on the other side and having an extra um, five feet of cable, that makes a big difference in the amount of amps you can generate. 
I decided to leave about a quarter inch between the panels and keep the panels parallel to the rain gutter. So what I'll do is just with the blue tape again, is tape it on this side first. And it doesn't do much, but at least it keeps it from moving too much. That looks good. What I did forget a bit is that I, I still have to, so before installing them, I still have to clean the roof, at least somewhat. So I use the same concoction of alcohol and water. It is also quite handy if you have a second pair of hands available. Then I get my roller. Hi guys, this is Joey and we're building a one-of-a-kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys. You're doing a good job.